As I was saying, a gelding has the muscle mass that most mares lack, not to mention the superiority of the male rider. Superiority of the male rider? Give me a break. And here they come! What a great finish. Yeah. Better luck next time, champ. Girls rule. Losing isn't much of a welcome back present, Liam. I'm here for two weeks. I'll beat you from now on. Today was a fluke. I wouldn't exactly call it a fluke. Everyone knows geldings are stronger than mares. I don't know where you've been, but Carol, a girl, riding Belle, a mare, just won. And it isn't the first time. If these horses were out in the wild, it'd be a different story. Just like if we were out in the wild, it'd be a different story. You've always had a problem with reality, Liam. Sorry to disappoint you girls, but it's a known fact that males of all species are tougher than females. Am I right, Phil? Uh... You can't be serious. I am serious. There's no sense in denying a man's hunter-gatherer roots. Around the cosy setting of Pine Hollow, things may be equal, but none of you could rough it out in the woods. Is that right? OK. That settles it then. We'll have a camp off. Girls against boys. Necessities. First one to bail for creature comfort loses, and the losing team has to wait hand on foot on the other team for a week. But how can we make sure the boys won't cheat? Each team can keep a video diary of the trip. It'll be Phil, Red, Scooter, and me against Lisa, Carol, me, and Deborah. Deborah. Stevie, listen. May the best team win. What were you thinking? Deborah, as in can't leave home without a pedicure, Deborah? She'll be fine. Trust me. Camping? Um, girls, just slow down. <laughs> We've already volunteered you. Please, Deborah. I'm sure Deborah would ordinarily jump at the chance to spend a night in the wilderness, but I really need her to help me man the fort this weekend. Man the fort? Hmm? Oh, excuse me. Uh, a woman in the fort, whatever the proper term is nowadays. Oh, so funny, Max. I can, you know, answer for myself. They, they did say camping. I've been known to camp. <laughs> What's so funny? The vision of you camping. Hmm. I would love to go. No electricity, no pillows, no hot showers, Deb. Just give me five minutes to back. <laughs> this is going to be great! Liam, you do realise what you've signed us up for? No worries. Only Red has faced camping conditions like this before. We could save ourselves a lot of grief and humiliation. Gentlemen, I have a plan. Leave it to me. The girls will quit before the night begins. I hope you know where you're all going. The map's clearly marked. I mean, you do know where you're going. Terrain of the legendary Yowie. 
Don't you mean the mythical Yowie? A huge, ferocious, hairy beast who feeds off the flesh of humans and horses. Nice try. We just thought you should all be aware. I don't know why we just don't have a girls versus boys challenge right here at Pine Hollow. Don't worry, he's just trying to scare us. Deb, Deb, Deb. You look a little nervous. I'm fine. You sure you're up for this? Of course you're sure. Let's hear for girl power. Girl, girl power. power! Girl power! <laughs> We'll show them, girls. We're far superior. Come on, quicker with that tent. <laughs> well, that was a snap. Are you sure I can't do anything? Um, we have it under control. Do you want to go see what Stevie's up to? Sure. Hi, Stevie. Is there anything I can do? I think I've got it all under control. You could cook us lunch. All my sausages coming right up. Here, I'll show you. Take the sausage. And yeah. Throw it through, stick like this. Look, if there's one thing I can do, it's cook a couple of sausages. You know, I don't know what Max was talking about. This camping stuff isn't so bad. <laughs> the boys are going to be so sorry they ever heard of the saddle club. I agree. <laughs> Did the barbecuing? Mm. Red, can you help me with this? I've never used this type before. Nice one. Perhaps the girls sabotage them. Oh, yeah, the girls. Okay, Ranger Rick, you give it a try. Bet the girls have got their fire started. If they did, it's a fluke. Do you hear that? No, what? I think I hear the sound of a wild beast lurking in the woods. You're making no sense, Scooter. There are no wild beasts in these parts of... Ah, oh, right. Wild beast. The big, ferocious wild beast. Maybe it's a yowie. The wild beast that is so ferocious. It would make anyone quit and go home. I think it's time we went in search of more kindling. Right behind you. No, it's not fair. I can't believe we have to clean this up all by ourselves. Definitely not fair. Melanie, Ashley. Sorry to interrupt your chores, but I'd like you to meet one of our new students. This is Nick. Nice to meet you. Same here. Could you guys introduce him to the pony that he'll be riding for the week? No problem. Right. Here she is, good old Penny. Isn't Penny a girl's name? Well, Penny would be a girl. Drew didn't say anything about having to ride a girl pony for the week. Girl ponies are just as good, if not better, than boy ponies. Just the same as how most girls are better than boys. You're right. Let's see about that. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I don't think these mosquitoes have eaten for a month. I second that. They haven't stopped feeding on us since we got here. What's a few mosquito bites when our honour is at stake? That's the attitude, Deborah. That looks nothing like a yaoi footprint. Well, have you ever seen the yaoi footprint before? It's a lame idea, Scooter. The girls will never fall for something like this. We have no fire in line. The tent is still not set up. This is our best shot.
So where's the kindling? I knew we forgot something. Well, it's not the only thing you forgot. Oh, the tent poles. Unless we take turns acting as tent poles for the night. Is it quitting time yet? I'll show a bit of backbone, Scooter. What if it rains? You guys dragged me out here to prove a point. So let's do it. Right, grab your stuff, men. I saw something on the way here. Isn't it great? I don't know, Liam. Sure. A breath of wind would knock it down. Yeah, but it's better than a tent with no poles. Yeah, but canvas doesn't hurt when it falls on you. This would. Does this count as more than the bare necessities? The girls might disqualify us. Liam and I have fixed it, so the girls won't come anywhere near these parts. Besides, it's the survival of the fittest. And I suppose just because we're smart enough to find our own shelter, doesn't mean we're cheating. Certainly not. Uh, you guys get the fire going. Looks like we need more kindling. Scooter and I'll get right on that. Consider it done. <laughs> Are you sure Deborah's gonna last the night? She didn't look so good. Maybe we should consider it going. Absolutely not! What happened to the saddle club girl power and fighting for the spirit of womankind? Um, Stevie, what's up? Big animal footprints is what's up. Those aren't just animal footprints. You're right. Uh oh. What do you mean, uh oh? Are those the prints of the Yowie? Oh, no! And what have we here? Oh, look! He's put his boots on. The boys strike again. <laughs> Girls? shovels the most manure in two minutes wins. You know it was a man who developed the art of poop scooping. Why does that not surprise me? Ready? Ready. On your mark. Get set. <laughs> Like Nick won this one hands down. Told you so. <laughs> what? Thanks for finishing off all our chores. Men sure are born to scoop the poop, all right. <laughs> Come on, Penny. Don't worry, Dime. This is war. There's a wild beast out there, and I know it. There's no such thing as the Yowie. It doesn't matter. There is something out there, and I'm sure of it. I quit. But we'll lose. You can't just quit. Just watch me. Oh. If you give up, we'll all have to give up. There's nothing in there, Deborah. I'd rather be torn apart by wild animals than lose to Phil. Not that there are any wild animals in these parts. You know the first four words out of Max's mouth will be, I told you so. They would be, wouldn't they? Definitely. <laughs> Liam and Scooter trying to get us to quit is what's going on. <sighs> Girls, it's time to put a stop to this. 
The petrified look on Deborah's face was priceless. Any second now, the girls will quit. And we'll be back at Pine Hollow with our feet up, channel surfing, whilst they're serving us hot chocolate and pizza. Oh, yeah. Nice work, Scooter. This EA print looks much more lifelike. I didn't make these prints. Then who did? Probably the girls. Oh, of course, it's the girls. Bound to be. What else could it be? I don't get it. Why would the boys desert camp? Unless something's happened. We should look for them. I'll try and get the fire started. I think I've only got one match left in my pack. Seems pretty fast. Don't worry. I've got it all under control. What are you doing? That girl's not gonna fit dime. That's the whole point, genius. All's fair in love and war. And this is war, right? Yes. This is the deciding match. First person to tack up their horse wins the girls versus boys championship. Hope you can tack up as fast as you can scoop poop. Funny. Riders ready? On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> What's the matter, boy? We can be sweet, we can be grass. Sometimes we fight like sisters that make hey, us not like bad. <laughs> we can do anything that two <sighs> girls can do. Yeah, we're gonna show you. Your girl's too big. We always end up in trouble. I don't try this, we always end up in trouble. Well, everything we try, we always end up in trouble. Losing circulation in my leg. We'll have to hold the debris off him. I can't move it. Let's get some rope. Bell strong enough to pull this stuff off. You'll be all right. Hang in there, Liam. We're going to get you out. We, we can't just pull it off. We have to lift it. Otherwise, it could hurt his leg. We can pull the rope over the branch and lift the beam off. OK. 
Okay, Stevie. Come on, Belle. You can do it. What a champion. Keep going. Uh, come on, Leia. Come on, Belle. It's two apples and three carrots for you tonight. Just a bit more. Really, there? Guys, we did it without you. Girl power got him out. And some horsepower. Correction, mare power. <laughs> hey, girl. You know this whole boys versus girls competition was all in good fun? You're a good sport. I'm sorry I didn't want to ride you in the first place. I owe you an apology too. It was a dirty trick to switch the saddle. You and Dime deserve to win. Sorry, chap. Looks like Dime and Petty have made up. Truce? Truce. Truce. One. <laughs> you couldn't even get the fire started. The okay, Ranger Rick, you give it a try. Wait, what's Liam doing? Is that what I think it is? A bar of chocolate? It, it was an old chocolate bar. I, I found it in my pocket. It was it was old, mouldy. It was gross. I threw out the other half. You didn't have to eat any of it. And eating chocolate definitely counts as a creature comfort. The girls win. I think we'll start with a large pizza with everything on it. And I'm sure you boys won't mind if you give us a week's worth of manicures. We are girls, after all. Nice going, Liam. And we're sorry for lying about the whole yowie thing. I mean, Scooter and I shouldn't have faked those footprints. We never believed it. Oh, yeah. You believed it. Uh, no. You didn't believe it? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's why you had that mistake. Oh, sure, you didn't believe the other. No, that's not true. Why would we do that?